everyone! Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. It's Kate and for today's video will be a travel vlog. So can you guys guess where am I? Kasi nandito na kami. <laughs> but I think you can guess it by the title, right? So we're now here at Tasmania. So we already checked in and let's go inside and have a room too. Welcome. So this is our <laughs> this is our villa, and it's a three bedroom with a full kitchen and living room. Ang weird lang kasi dito is yung bedroom is nasa baba, and then yung kitchen and living room is upstairs. So I'm gonna show. You. This is the main room. So this is my sister's bedroom and her family. <laughs> with the bathroom. So I'll be staying here with my sister and her family and two of my friends, but they're not still here. So next is another bathroom so then, with a bathtub. And next is the other room. So this is the other room, but this will be unused because we don't have other friends. We should have other friends. Next is the other bedroom that me and my friends will be using. Guys, nanda kayo. Dito na ni. Let's go upstairs. Nakikita naman ako. Oh. Okay. Ako kung ano mapatid ako. Uy, ang likot mo. This is the view. Pinatry ko kaya hindi ko malaman. This dining room. The living room. And the kitchen. Uh, hi! 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 Okay. Hi! Love. Next is the balcony. So it's a bit cloudy now here in Hobart. Ayun. Pero sa city, it's very hot. It's like 30 degrees. And here, it's 12. Something like 12. So, kaya ako nakaganitong outfit. Ah, pakita niya. So this is my outfit. Aray ko. And that's the shoes. <laughs> okay, let's go inside. Hey, inside, outside. So there's a rain shower, so it's wet. But here's the view. Hi! So this is our first day here, and we'll be staying here for five days. But my friends will just stay here for three days. So for close today, the screens. It's Saturday, so. It's already 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so we will not go somewhere. Maybe just eat dinner and that's it. Then tomorrow we're gonna start pasyal pasyal anywhere. So that's it. And yeah, my friends are here now. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. And introduce yourself. I'm Camila. <laughs> Oh, I'm Josephine. <laughs> <laughs> so there. <laughs> this is the car that we rented. <laughs> hey, it's our day two here, and I'm now eating breakfast. Hang tayo po yung tatigil, ha? Hmm. Hang tayo po yung tatigil. So, it's our second day in Tassie and I opted to just do a voiceover and tell you guys what went with our trip. Okay, so our first stop is Mount Wellington, which is also called Konani. It's 45 minutes away from our hotel, but you'll, you'll be staying within Hobart Center. It will only just be around 15 to 20 minutes. And we were totally stoked while we we're on our way because we saw snow. We didn't expect that, so it's obviously very cold and we're so not prepared. When we got to the top, it was so windy and our clothes were so inappropriate. Although we totally loved the place, it was so nice, the view is just breathtaking.
Our next stop was the Cascade Brewery. It was established in 1824 and located in Hobart. It is the oldest operating brewery in Australia. Wow! Of course, we didn't know that for us to get inside, we need to book a tour. And the tour costs $30 per person, which includes 7 ounces of tasting samples. So yeah, we had our lunch at their cafe and villa. They have a bar, so lucky for us, we were able to try the beers. We ordered a tasting paddle that cost $18. Not bad, right? My friends got 4 beers from the lightest to strongest or darkest beers. Is that how you describe the taste levels? <laughs> I tried it and I love the first two lightest beers which of course I don't know what those beers are. <coughs> Anywho, we ordered pork and chips, burger, and chicken wings. We spent $64 on lunch for 3 people. Not bad right? Then off to our next destination, the well-known Richmond Bridge. Richmond is another town or city in Tassie. It is known to be historical, especially this heritage-listed art bridge located on the B31 or known as Convict Trail was built in 1823 and still standing. I believe I can fly. I believe. Even their houses and shops were so old fashioned. We roam around and found a chocolate slash gelato shop, and it was so good. We also found the Richmond Jail turned into an historical site. It is the oldest intact jail in Australia, and when we saw the place, it was so spooky, and we saw some photos claiming that there was a ghost in the jail. So. We decided not to go inside. We ended our day by passing to a seafood restaurant near the airport and ate fresh oysters and fisherman's basket. We spent $37.90 for half dozen of oysters and the basket. Third day is hiking day. We're off to Cape Rule. It is on the southernmost part of the Tasman Peninsula and one of the well known viewpoints in Tasmania. We drove almost two hours to get there from our hotel. The track will take 1.5 hour return for the lookout and 5 hour return for the end of the Cape. Since we have no proper hiking gears, we decided to just go to the lookout. There was a log sheet and cleaning brushes at the start of the track for safety purposes. We didn't forget to bring food and water because the walk will be long and of course, there's nothing to pass by and buy something. When we got to the lookout, it was A-M-A-Z-I-N-G. Amazing! What more on the end? It was so worth it. The view is so perfect that I just don't want to go back. Honestly, this was my first ever legit hike in my entire life. I suggest that you guys should be very aware and careful of the surroundings because there's heaps of high cliffs with no barriers. So be safe. Sadly, we're running out of time so we went to the other side which they call Eastern's Bluff. It is a globally renowned big wave serving location. It has the same walking time as the Cape Rule lookout. Obviously, it has the same gorgeousness view as the Cape Rule. We ate our lunch at the lookout and took a rest and head back. It was a tiring day but regardless of that, we really enjoyed the hike and no words can describe how beautiful Tasmania is. And then my friends went back to Sydney on that night. Our last whole day was a tour in Port Arthur Historical Site. It was a former convict settlement so it means a lot of people were punished in this place. 
It is also located in the southern part of Tasmania and has the same way as the Cape Rule. However, this is nearer and one and a half hour drive from our hotel. I book our tickets online to their website and cost $40 each. Children below 7 years old are exempted. The ticket includes a 40-minute walking tour. After the walk, we went to the asylum where they confined the people with mental disorders and the separate prison cells were in the convict were locked for solitary confinement. We also went to the other historical buildings that were just fragments of the whole building. This place used to have the most of their convicts from the United Kingdom. And guess what? I read that a 9-year-old boy was put in that separate prison for stealing toys. For just stealing toys. How is that? Our tickets include a 25-minute harbor cruise to see the Point Pierre Boys Prison and the Isle of the Dead. Point Pierre Boys Prison is a reforming institution for criminal boys. I heard from our tour guide that most of the boys committed suicide due to depression. Next was the Isle of the Dead. It is a cemetery in an island. Around 1,100 convicts, military and civil officers, women and children were buried in the island. So creepy yet interesting. They offer a tour on the island for $22 which is not included in our tour. We finish our tour by just walking around and see the locale. Before we got home, we passed by the Tasman's Ark and Devil's Kitchen which are wonderful and unique formations. They're just beside each other and we still have time so why not visit it. Then we also went to the blowhole that I wasn't able to film because we, re we really went there for the delicious food truck. I got the mussels and chips and it was the best ever mussels I had. They offer a lot of seafood choices and almost everything was sold out. I also tried their freshly made blackberry ice cream and again, it was so good. Ah. Tasmania's food, specifically seafood, is the best. We got home and blew my Cole's cookies and cream cheesecake. Yep, it was my 23rd birthday. I'm so thankful and blessed that I got to celebrate my birthday in Tasmania, the place that I so love other than Amsterdam. <laughs> I just hope my parents will also be. I miss you, mommy and daddy. <laughs> that ends my vlog i hope you guys like it i hope you guys got some ideas on where to go next so tasmania is a very nice place it's just another state of australia so it's not that far and it's very peaceful and for people who likes adventures who loves hiking that's the perfect place because there's still a lot of mountains that you can go to and have a hike. That's it. I hope you guys like this video so give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that you'll get to see more of my videos and also you can click on the bell button beside the subscribe button so that you'll get notified whenever I post it a new video. Thank you so much for watching and see you on my next video.